So what had happened was, strolling around the grow tent at like two o'clock in the morning, and I realized I needed to cut some stuff. So I just kind of did it. So today's video is going to be taking care of the stuff I cut in the middle of the night. I almost even totally forgot about it. I cut them and then I was about to lay down and I was like, oh snap, the plants. So I grabbed the first thing I could find, which happened to be this <laughs> pumpkin. <laughs> it's full of water. So these have only been sitting in this for about 12 hours. Yay! I thought we could look at them together. Let's see. I'm just gonna pull one out and see what, I don't even remember. So anything that was like super leggy or I didn't have a place to put it last night because I basically reorganized re my whole grow tent. I just, I just cut it. So we got a lot of this. And I do think this princess has a little bit of rust fungus going on here. Do you see those spots? It could be from spider mites, but it also could be rust. I don't actually see any spider mites, but I did treat everything. This much moss. So we're just gonna take care of plants until I run out of moss, I guess. I don't even know where to start. I don't even know, I didn't even count them. I just walked around with scissors and cut anything awkward. <laughs> I did a lot of cutting yesterday. I don't know if it's gonna be too backlit to be able to see, but all of these uh, cups right here are also pink princesses. So I am increasing my army of pink princesses. I want to have like a thousand. Like why wouldn't you want a thousand of this? Serious question. I don't know if that video is up yet, but I said before I have a fairy where if I just put like dirty pots and stuff right beside my my kitchen sink, they just come back to me clean. It's a magic, magic fairy. So, plants. There's only one that isn't a pink princess. I don't know what to do with my hands. Okay. I also have this other little tray of plants right here. All these plants need repots too, if I have enough moss, hopefully. Maybe I should do that one first since it needs it the worst. These roots. I like to sit my plants on top of each other, especially when they're in moss like this and they'll just root into each other, which is bad, but also good because I'm lazy. Are we gonna be able to get the roots out without breaking them? Ta da! That is a beautiful leaf, too. So pretty. This is a piece of my Arid Market varicosum. You're gonna get a pot? Let's get a pot. Ta-da! No more roots out the bottom. Oh, well, this is not the plant that I needed to put into a pot. I'm gonna start with the one that's not a philodendron. So this is actually a Tingodium frostodendron. <laughs> and it's been sitting in a really bad spot in the tent and it actually fell over and I did not realize for a couple days. So all of the leaves were like, it just was not doing great. So I took a whole piece. And what I want to do is I'm actually gonna stick this this stick in my clings bow right here, and I'm just gonna put the top cut in moss. So, like it's super bleached out, too. You can even tell. I made a, a low light shelf in the tent, so hopefully, we won't have these problems anymore in the future. It's an ever going process, it's never gonna be perfect. There's always gonna be room for improvement. So, it's three. Frosted heart notes. 
They will grow too in this thing. Oh my gosh. How do we want to put this in? Cup? I like to make a big gigantic mess. It's, it's so funny because it was laying down. It's like it was growing like this. So it wants to it wants to lean. second plant of the day oh it's it's so okay this one is a mid cut of a really large princess like there's my thumb and there's the stem it's really big we already have two growth points I sold the top cut to this at the swap it was beautiful but the lower leaves are like we just been through a lot, you know? They've been bleached, they've been... This one's got like some... Oh, I guess it's got edema going on because I, I cut it in the... Uh, I cut them and put it directly into water last night. There it goes. You see that? I, I didn't have that yesterday when I cut it, but... Okay, let's see. What do I want to do with this? Do I want to leave it as one plant and let it regrow? I want to cut it into more than one. <laughs> what does your gut say? My gut says cut it. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to cut this piece and then I'm going to do this one and this one. So I've got, look how big. Gosh, it's just, it's huge. And look how beautiful that neon pink stripe is. Oh, my camera's colors suck. Someone need to teach me how to fix it. What shall we do with you? I'm thinking. Oh, this is gonna be so awkward. And <laughs> where am I gonna? Okay, I think I know where I'm gonna put it. many princesses that have matured to caterpill growth. This one like makes its own little caterpillars and doesn't grow out of the sheath like this one. So this leaf came out of the sheath right here but the other one is caterpill growth which is like a more mature plant and they seem to bounce back faster the few times I've cut them I haven't cut them too many times but we have one awkward princess there's multiple nodes on that one and then much much less fruits <laughs> princesses root very quickly and they have very very big chunky roots when they're happy so this is not overcutting, and I definitely don't have enough, enough moss for all this. Ugh. I'm gonna have to order some. You like to put the the node right up against the side so I can keep an eye on it. There's two. How about this one? Give this one a cup. So pretty. It does have some weird looking damage. Rust is terrible. 
guys. Like, and it's highly contagious for your plants. If if you weren't aware, if you see these like spots on your plant, especially if it has like a weird discoloration around it, you should probably treat it with copper fungicide just in case. Because it's not going to hurt your plant to treat it if it doesn't have it. But not treating a plant that has it is really bad. And the swap that we went to last month, everybody had plants with rust fungus. I don't think uh, people are like fully aware of what it is and how contagious it is. Like, these princesses are going to have to be somewhere else for a little while until they get a new leaf that has no spots. This one is another super aki one. Pull sleeve off. Um, I'll this one too. I don't have a plan either. I'm just kind of like following my heart. Do whatever I want. This one is a half moon that won't, won't unfurl. Oh, it looks like it's ripped. I will also be doing a Fizan treatment on these guys as well. I already did one, but I'll do it again in a couple days. Fizan is my preferred for everything. I'm not allergic to it. I'm allergic to so much of the plant chemicals. Although I think this is gonna be the last I can do with this moss. I have to go get some more from downstairs. I do I've got I think it would be really cool to have one of my princesses flower that's what I, I think it would be really really swell okay one two three of those what about you what am I gonna do with you this one is super dark but it is still every bit as beautiful We have four chunks. sure what I want to do with these yet. What do I want to do with these? I don't have enough moss to put them in cups right now on their own so I could put them together. Not really sure. Oh gosh there's another one under the table. Well this is this one definitely has rust, for sure. It's still pretty, but it's definitely got an infection. So I will not cut this one because it's got a little tiny stem and you need like a double dose. You're beautiful, but you definitely got rust. But she definitely needs a treatment. She's got an infection. So I need more moths? What am I gonna do? I think I'm just gonna put these in a box of moths. I never thought I would have this problem. What do I do with this? I remember a day when I wanted a pink princess so bad and like I could not believe they were like $80 for this tiny little plant. I wish past me could see me right now. <laughs> she would never believe it. I have a box of pink princess leaves I just ripped off. <laughs> we have changed, we have grown. I have blood on my hands. 
I don't even have more cups. I have nothing. I can, oh, I just put this dripping pot on my pants. I'm actually gonna nestle this little piece on top of this friend. So he's got, a, you see the water dripping? Pouring, rather. I almost set my drink there too, that would have been so gross. Would you still drink a plant, or would you drink a plant? Would you still drink a drink if you poured plant water in it? I probably would. But we have a um, chunk on top, and I'm going to put some more mouse on top of it. So technically there's multiple princesses in this pot. And that solves one problem. Can I do that with each one? I think I can. Oh, I'll put the smallest one on this guy. Unfortunately, I think these... Oh, this one's kind of small. This one. Here's your roommate. This... I have these three. I still need to situate. As well as... Got my little tray of repots that I need to do. Which I don't think we're gonna get to today. But at least I got the varicose amount. Is anyone else in moss in here? This one is. Maybe I could. <laughs> Maybe. I think she needs it a little bit. Zowie! This is a glorious. I took the top cut off and gave it to Pete. So I need to. What can I put you in? What we got? This is actually a deli container I put holes in. Everything is a pot when you're a plant parent, except for actually pots. I hate these. Not a fan. Well, I'm not gonna be repotting these today, so I'm just gonna put them back. Beer uh, be with more moss, I guess. Got a little bit more. I'm down to my last like pieces of moss. I'm so close to out. It's crazy. I had one of those like gigantic bales that's like a hundred dollars or something and I'm I'm almost out. That's so much more. I'm gonna take this glorious and like force it to lay down right here. Which is fine. Ooh, what happened to that leaf? Yucky. I'm gonna take this. Oh, there we go. The plant's not very happy. That leaf looks frightening. Yikes. Did not look like that the other day. How quickly they decline. So we have this dark one, the dark one, like that. Oh, she's bleeding in her cup, pop. I usually don't advocate trimming roots, but this is too much. So I'm gonna cut this big honking one off. I'm sorry, plant, you just, you can't have that much roots. She's got a little neighbor. And then our rustiest princess yet. Since I did cut these, there are butt cuts in the tent, which means I am also going to need to deal with their butt cuts if the top pots have top part has rust but this one definitely for sure does I'm unsure on the other ones they could that could be spider mites but this one with the like greenish hue to it yeah for sure sick 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 so much so I'm not even gonna put this one with the other ones it's gonna go somewhere else entirely and this is the 
disgusting bottle. My hands are nasty. This is the bottle of whatever that I use. Fungus. It says it right on the bottle. But I love it. It's almost gone. I need a new bottle soon. I'm not allergic to it. Everything else makes me break out like in red welts or like my eyes swell up. You should always use protection when dealing with chemicals. I do not. And I'm allergic. So I just put them in here. This is not where they're going to stay. It's just where they're off right now. Obviously, there's no light above them. I need to go to Home Depot and get another shelf to cut because I turned this one into a four shelf system. I'm going to do the same for this because we have a project coming. Here are some more princesses that are growing. And all of those are also princesses in those cups. But I'm going to do a Fizan treatment on them tonight. I'll pull them out and put them all in the bathtub and spray them down. I think they're probably going to end up living in this cabinet here. This is a Millsbow wide, but it doesn't have a light in it right now. So this is probably going to be the final resting place for the rest. But we'll see. What a miss, what a miss, what a mighty big miss. This little sicky fella is going to be somewhere. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Uh, I put it in. I put it right there for right now. I don't think it's gonna stay right there, but it's not next to anything that I'm worried about. I don't think Cebu Blue is super prone to it. Seems to be a philodendron thing. I wonder if it's actually like a different disease. That's just, we, we know as well, so I have to do some research on that. It's a very gloomy day here today, and all, there's a whole bunch of crows. That sounds real. That sounds fake. Sounds like fake bird sounds. Wonder how that sounds on the camera. I wanted to talk, but I'll wait. I wonder what they're talking about. I guess I just have to talk anyway. Sorry for the birds. I have no control over nature. I don't even know how long they've been going. I've been so focused. Have they been tripping this whole time? I have a little mess to clean up, but other than that, feeling pretty good about it. I used to freak out when there was any blemish on any leaf and like full spiral panic sometimes. Like the first time my lichens got a yellow leaf, I lost my mind. I fell to my knees weeping what happened and it has been such a personal growth for me to not love everything to death definitely even princesses in various stages I don't even want to call it neglect because I'm not neglecting them there's just there's a lot of plants and I can't like make every plant 100% happy but even the plants that don't don't get the best care compared to some of the others of the same variety they they're all doing just fine they're all alive they maybe have like a rough spot or maybe a spider mite but they're alive you know so and i'm not losing my mind over it which i think i've always been the kind of person that feels everything super strongly there was never a medium it's either 100 or zero and plants were definitely not an exception for me. Like, for sure, dump, jumped in feet first without looking. And I, I don't regret it at all. But emotionally, it was a journey because there's things you cannot control. Like, sometimes things happen. And it's okay. Like, it's okay if your plant gets spider mites. It's okay if it gets rust. It's probably gonna be okay. You'll be okay too. 
The first time I found a plant with mealy bugs, like a dollar succulent, I straight up threw it out the window. I was like, bye Felicia, I ain't got time for that. I probably would still do the same if I found mealy bugs on a dollar plant, but by how far we've come. <laughs> I love them all so much and I want nothing but for each plant to get exactly what it needs and what they need, not what I want it to need. You know what I mean? I don't even know if I'm making any sense. Anyway, that is gonna be it for this video. I wish I had cut them on camera because it was kind of spontaneous and fun and I think it would have been fun to bring you along with me, but it was two o'clock in the morning and I was in my pajamas and walking around with scissors like an old person. Do you walk around your house with scissors at two o'clock in the morning? Let me know. Surely it's not just me, right? Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you're not and you want to be, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I love plants. I love every kind of plants. I just want to hug all of them, but I can't get hug every plants.